I did order a new headband, guys. Like, I don't already have enough. Today is the day I finally reveal the shelf behind you guys. I'm gonna hang this back on the shelf to me. Even though these leaves are green, these two, I will also put on the shelf. There's gonna be so much dust flying around. I this filled case library card. So I'm gonna make one. Her favorite color is pink. I could have painted this pink. Well, that's not the kind of library cards that this library gives out. Hello, guys. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I need to go out for one errand. It's a very boring errand, so I'm not even going to vlog that. But because I'm heading out, I might as well go to Miniso. I need to get something that I wasn't able to get last time. Hopefully I'm able to get it. And then maybe pick up some lunch. I am craving chipotle. Oh my god, I just realized the last time I filmed a similar type of vlog, I also got Chipotle. And funny story, well not funny story, but that was the last time I ate Chipotle, so... Oh my god, has it been a year? Maybe it's been a year. That was the last time I had Chipotle, so I'm craving it today. And then I want to also get myself a coffee. You know what I also just realized? I was going to wear the exact same shirt that I wore in that video that I was thinking of. You know... Maybe for today, wear something different. I feel like in all of my videos, I'm always wearing these same clothes. It seems like I have nothing else when in fact I do, but those are the clothes that I am most comfortable wearing. So I gravitate to those more than the others, which is why you always see me in the exact same clothes. I want to avoid deja vu, which is why I'm wearing a different shirt. Today's vlog is going to be another spend the day with me, but today I'm not going to Central Park. It's not going to be complete deja vu. So let's get this going. I need to wear my jacket and we can go outside. It really might not be the weather to wear a, what is this, a fleece jacket, but I want to. I'm going to wear my socks now. Should I wear my sneakers or my Ujijir? Let's wear Ujiji. I don't know why my boots are so dirty. Why is there a spot there that's so dark? I can't even wipe it. Okay, I'll do this when I come back. The quicker I do my things, the faster I can come back home. That's the most important thing. Being home. Wait, do I even need a button all the way down? No, I don't. genius my mic i'm finally home and i'm so hungry some sour cream on the side and i also have my drink this is iced pumpkin spice latte i don't really drink pumpkin spice so i've never tried blank streets pumpkin spice let me try it it's good, but it's kind of sweet. I'm gonna eat now, guys. I just wanna take a bite. You can't see it, but I'm pouring sour cream. It's not even coming out. Gotta use a spoon. Let's put more. Looking so tasty. Closing it. We're going to shake. It would be so funny if everything just bursts open. No, it would not be funny. Wow. Is it well mixed? Wait, where's the veggie? Okay. <laughs> Tastes like Chipotle. 
Mm. <coughs> my to-go order is very, very simple. I get white rice, chicken, black beans, lettuce, cheese, salsa, corn, with sour cream on the side. That's what I get. It's pretty basic, but I like it. You guys are probably watching this thinking, girl, I did not click on this video to watch you eat. Don't worry, we're just leading up to the, not fall makeover, but just cleaning up, organizing, all of that. But because it's fall, I'm gonna say it's fall makeover. Maybe it's a fall refresh. I cannot wait for my hair to grow long again. When I have long hair, I want to cut it short. And when I have short hair, I want to grow it long. When I don't have bangs, I want bangs. When I have bangs, I don't want bangs. <laughs> my life is all about wanting what I don't have or can't have. <coughs> Since I'm eating right now and I'm not really watching something, let's have a chit chat. When I'm eating and filming a video, I wonder if you guys like watching mukbangs or things like that because i really love watching mukbangs well not necessarily mukbangs i do like it but i've been watching less of that i do like watching in vlogs when people eat i like to see what people are eating and get inspo for what i want to eat i also like watching cooking videos because i like cooking so i like to see how people cook the dishes and try it out an experiment yeah so let me know in the comments like what kind of videos you guys like watching to see if we also have similar taste in what we like to watch since we already have a similar hobby of reading do we like watching the same things i would like to know i'm like struggling to think about what to talk about okay you guys that is enough of me eating in front of you guys the so next time you see me i will be right in front of my shelf talking about my skincare and reorganizing here we are finally in front of the shelves i'm so full right now my stomach is about to burst so let's get you closer to the main well one of the main reasons why i'm filming this video i received a comment from when i built this shelf to do a skincare video in my videos you can see something is always popping up on my face <coughs> i'm getting closer to you guys you guys can see that i have pimple patches on my face i really do have pimples behind these guys i'm not wearing these for decoration i do break out a lot that doesn't mean that the products don't work but i'm not saying that they will work for you if you use them this is just me sharing the products that i use if i use a product and it doesn't make my skin worse i think it kind of works if i buy a product and i use it and i can see that it's doing more damage than good then i stop using the product it wouldn't be the ones behind me these are the products that i have used and it looks like it works and remember I am no skincare expert. I'm no dermatologist. So take this portion of me sharing my skincare very lightly. So, so you know, none of this is sponsored. These are products that I simply use. Maybe not daily, but I do use it. And I will also let you guys know if there is a product that I use long term because that usually means that I have trust in this product. So let me get started. This is my get ready area. What I use before I go outside and also what I use in my nightly routine. Aside from my lip products, which are by my desk and I will share those later as well. I'll just bring it over and share with you guys what I use for my lips. So here you are. This is pretty much what you see is what you get. Okay, I think I should stop my face tracking so you can look closely at the products. So I have my headbands here and also necklaces hanging right behind the headbands. I have a couple of them. This is the one that I mainly use. However, I also love using this one, which is the Luna headband. I do think that this one is a lot better because it isn't thick like this one so it doesn't pop off my head as easily i did order a new headband guys like i don't already have enough then you look down here and i have more headbands but they're not the same so i have this one and i also have this and i also have this i know you can't see it but there's more right here these two so i have a lot of headbands I know these are not skincare products, but I might as well show you what I have. Back here, I just have brushes and combs and hair clips. I have my hair curler. I have this wristband. This is what I use to prevent water from going into my sleeves. I have a fan. Sometimes when I'm putting toner or something on, I just blow myself with the fan to make it dry faster. Here, I have the products. Let's get you guys closer, right? First thing you see right in the center is my sunscreen. This is the one that I am currently using and I really love this one. This is 
Kiehl's Super Fluid Daily UV Defense. I really like this one, but I did buy a new one recently. If that one doesn't work as well, then I might go back to this one because I really like this. I got this as a present. My favorite perfume. This is the perfume that defines me. This is Glossier U. Right behind that, I have another Kiehl's product, but this one I don't really use. That's why I have it in the back. Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum. I have my deodorant. Then I also have this Abeb Airy Sunstick. Oh my gosh, let me tell you guys. So this is the product that I've been using as my sunscreen for the longest time. I think it's been a year since I've had this. And then I decided I want to try a sunstick. So I got this one and I started using this one. I thought this was a good line of defense, right? I wore this for maybe two weeks and I was thinking, Oh my god, does my sunspots on my face look darker than normal? Because why do I notice my sunspots? even more so i thought maybe this is not that good as a wearing it alone sunscreen and i know you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen i don't really do that because i don't bring my sunscreen out maybe the blame is on me now i made some changes this is the one that i wear and i bring this out with me to reapply because the sunspots on my face are no joke remember wear sunscreen also here i have Let's move you guys back. This is a Medeca 21 Teca Solution Soothing Capsule Ampule. I don't really use this as often now. Behind that one, I have another Teca Solution. This is a mist toner. I love this one because it feels so light and eerie, which is what it's supposed to feel like. And I really like the smell of this one. Behind that, I have Paula's Choice which is this one. When I first got it, I used it for a few weeks and then I stopped. Okay, so I can't really tell you if it works or not, but the reviews for this one was really good. That's why I bought it. Then this is the Rosotina Purifying Peel Off Mask. I also used this for a few weeks because I bought these two at the same time. I've got to say, I don't really think this one works, but it won't hurt to use it. So I still kept it. What else is here? Okay, obviously the main thing in the front I bought this off of Timu. This is a jewelry organizer. As you can see, I have my hair ties, clips, and scrunchies on the bottom. My Cetaphil is right next to it. Now, this is a product that I have been using for years and years and years and years. This is a moisturizing cream, and I use it on my body and sometimes on my face. The bottom half of my face is really, really dry. And then top half is oily. It's a, a whole spectrum on my face. I have floss here. I have this here because I brought floss with me when I went to Canada and I did not use them all because I usually pack more than I need just in case. So I just have extras here. Let's go through these drawers quickly. This top drawer is for lip products. I have Burt Bees. This Aloe Vera Soothing Moisture Lipstick Kiss Beauty. And this is Melixir. Oh, and <laughs> for when I think I have cold sore, what is this one? Eyelash treatment. I don't, I've never used this one. I have it. And I also have an eyelash curler in the back. And the thing I keep holding in my hand is the Jack Black lip balm. This is what I use every night, but I also did get the Vaseline Rosy lip balm. So I've been using that one as well. But this is what I've been using for the past few years now, and it works. And I also recently purchased more, so I'm waiting for that. Second drawer, pimple patches and eye... What is this called again? These are eye patches. Not eye patches, but for the right here. I use these, and my mom uses them, so I have that here. And more pimple patches. Lastly... A whole bunch of different products down here. I don't even know. I'm not really going to go in depth in here because I don't really use these. Yeah, I don't really use these. I have a brush eyeliner, Urban Decay's face primer, eyeliner. Why do I have so many eyeliners? And this one is a mascara. What is this? Calming mask. I do think some of them expired. Uh, Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Yeah, I have a hair clip in here and hand lotion. Now this part, this is the claw clip that I use, by the way. This is a product that I've been using now. This is the Medicube Zero Pore Pad 2.0. Everyone was talking about this and saying how it works, so I bought it and I tried it. I don't want to say it doesn't work, but I don't want to say it does work. Sometimes I'm looking in the mirror and I think, wow, it really does work. And other times I'm looking in the mirror and I think it doesn't work. I'm still using it anyway. 
I don't know if I'm going to buy it after I finish the pack. I have like maybe this much left. And I have this organizer here for my wallet, coin pouch, hair clip, lotion, and tissues. Don't really use a lot of things down here, but this bin I do use. The big bottles here you see are free up products for my hair clip. But this is the one that I use for home, and then these are the ones that I use outside. Why do I have a plastic knife here? I know why this is here. This is for when I scrape creams. This is antibacterial wipe. This here. This is the one that I use the most. This is the Free Up Peaceful Skin Soothing Pad. This is the one that I use in the mornings after I wash my face and I don't want to use Cetaphil. I will use this one. And I have been using this one, especially as I said, on this area of my face because this is where it's mostly dry. After using this one, my face is kind of wet. So I use my fan to speed up the process. Here, this one is for pores. This is a Wonder Pour Clear Pad. Now, in the beginning, I was using this, but it doesn't really work that well, in my opinion. The changes occur when you use the product long enough for something to happen. So I probably haven't used this long enough for it to happen. But since I have my medic cube here i will finish this one first i didn't mention it but sometimes when i break out i do use these products even this one and the soothing pad to help me with my face because it kind of does soothe my blemishes and pimples this free up is a victory blemish clear pad now this is my fault but it doesn't really work because it's all dried up and that's pretty much all the skincare products that I have. Oh wait, I'm just gonna take out the skincare that I use. This one is a Nears face cream hair remover because I do sometimes have hair on my upper lip. And I also have a makeup remover. Oh, and I have empty little bottles for when I travel so I, I can reuse these. And that's pretty much it. That's my, oh God, that, that's my skincare, guys. I know I said that was all, but I went to my desk and grabbed my lip products to show you guys. This is the Vaseline Lip, oh, Lip Therapy. This is rosy, rosy lips. This is the one that I use when I'm not using my Jack Black lip balm. Downside of this is that you have to use your finger to put it on. In this little container, I have more of my lip products and other stuff. I have these two little bottles. All these for a travel. I have my mist toner in here and my perfume in this one. I'm not even holding the mic next to my face. My Jack Black, the lip product that I use, and DHC lip cream. Karen got this for me and I've been using it. It's I'm almost done with it, guys. Where is he? Yeah, that's it. I can't even twist it anymore. After this much, I am going to have to invest in another one. So that's my lip product. Since I'm already showing you my skincare products, might as well show you the full one. So these are the ones that I use in the bathroom. I don't keep these in my room. Here I have the oil-free acne wash. This is pink grapefruit facial cleanser from Neutrogena. I use this one every day. I've been using this one for more than a year now. I started using this one because it was recommended by my cousin. I'm not saying that it works 100% because I do still have breakouts here and there, but I can't expect my face to never have breakouts. That would only happen in a perfect world and- Sadly, we are not living in a perfect world. Right after I use the oil-free pink grapefruit cleanser, I use this one. This is the clay pack cleanser. These are the ones that I use in the shower and I use them every day. The next ones I'm showing you are ones that I use after I brush my teeth. This one is the Aniwa Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. I use this one before the Aniwa Heart Leaf Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. You're supposed to use this one first and then this one after. I've been using these for two months now. I think my pores have shrunken, but that could be me lying to myself. Now here are all the skincare products that I use. You can't see because it only follows my face. Thank you for loving me, camera. But here it is. This is all the skincare products that I use. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. This is what I use, what I've been using. So here they are. And now we can finally go into the book portion of the reorganizing and also fall makeover. Remember, makeover is a word that I'm using very lightly in this video. I have a box here that I need to unbox. I have the box here. I think I have three books in here. Everything that I ordered around the same time got delivered together, so it's not all books in here. 
Wow, guys. First book I have, Daydream by Hannah Grace. After I read Wildfire, I realized that I need more from Hannah Grace. So I got that. And then I also got The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. This is giving fall vibes. I've seen this book around. I have another book by Ashley Poston, The Dead Romantics. I'm looking at it right now. I don't know why I did not put that in my book cart, so I might add that into my book cart. Last but not least here, I have The Ruinous Love Trilogy. This is Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. When I buy a book on Amazon or when I borrow a book on Kindle Unlimited, I get these recommended to me. And this is one of them. So I bought it. This is really interesting because it's about serial killers, guys. The viral friends to lovers dark romantic comedy full of murder, chaos, and sizzling chemistry. Every serial killer needs a friend. Every game must have a winner. There was a book that I read that was about a romance between a serial killer and his psych psychiatrist that was really interesting the rest i'm sharing with you are not books but i have <laughs> speaking of jack black lip balm when i said that i ordered more it is delivered i bought new ones because i only have one more left as you saw up there and last but not least the jeju fresh aloe soothing gel got this mainly for soothing purposes i'm just gonna put this here for now huh and that's all for my unboxing i'm finally ready to start reorganizing the shelves right here the coffee that i bought earlier i transferred it into my glass cup let's put it here my plan is very simple i need to reorganize this shelf because i have i have books here that are in stacks no place to put them because there is no room for any of these books. If you recognize these books, it is because these books used to be on my book cart. Here is my book cart. We just need to make room for these books now. And... I don't really see space. Do you see space? First thing I need to do is make some room on this shelf. Another thing is that today is the day I finally reveal the shelf behind you guys. It is a shelf that I have pretty much avoid showing on camera. I'm pretty sure if you watch some of my videos, you can see the shelf behind me. It's not like I completely keep it hidden. It's just like a really messy clustered shelf. It's not that bad looking, but it is not the most organized. I only have three shelves on this big bookcase that are for books. So let me show you the bookcase and then we can go from there. Oh my god, why am I so nervous to show you guys this? Dun, da, da, da. Oh, it looks so messy. Oh my god. Um. Yes, I covered this side because no one really needs to see that what's behind that. And it probably makes it look worse. I'm not keeping this here long term. I'm just keeping it for the video so I don't have to constantly blur this part out. It's nothing bad, okay? It's just mask and binders and like bins and stuff. It's not something I need to hide. It doesn't look clean is what I'm trying to get at. This is my artistic shelf and a mini drawer organizer here. That's what I have. And then we don't need to really investigate what's in the shoe boxes. Another non-book shelf. Here I have my candles and this rack organizer that I kind of want to get rid of because I'm not really using it. As you can see, it's just more space for me to put random stuff. Let me move the chair. You can't really see it. So here is what it looks like. I have books books and I have books. The books that are on these two are mainly fantasy books. Removing the candles, putting it here. I apologize if you guys can see dust. I clean it. Next minute they come back. I'm playing Jenga with my candles up there. Here we have this row of books. Oh my god, the dust is killing me. I'm not going to go in depth with every book that I have here. You can take a look at it. Down here I have more fantasy and then I have these two tiny books right here. If you see this and you're thinking this is so random, yes, <laughs> there was space so I randomly put books here. The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. I'm gonna add this into my book cart right now. I changed my shirt so that it can hold the mic better. Let's get back into the video. So we were talking about this section. We're gonna have to move them because they don't really belong here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these somewhere else and free up some space so I can bring some books from my brown shelf 
to my black shelf because there are some books in that shelf that are fantasy so let's move that here i kind of want that shelf to be mainly rom-com and contemporary so that these books can go there and the books over there can come here that's the plan for now and then there's this one i don't even know where i should put this this one belongs here these two go over there whoa I'm gonna move my Shatter Me books. This whole stack is gonna have to go here, like this. Um, what else can I do? Let's see. Ignore these leaves. I'm gonna hang this back on this shelf to make it fall themed. Even though these leaves are green, it's not really fall. Lutcher. Yeah, these ones are going back on the other side. Oh my gosh. These are going on the other shelf. I have Michelle Obama Becoming. I'm going to put this on the top shelf. The Crow Rider. This one is going to go down here. Hooked. Put this on the bottom as well. Electric Idol by Katie Robert. I already read this one. Right? Yeah. I've already read this one in a video and I have The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. This is the second book in the Prison Healer series. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, the Prison Healer series. I also have The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. Kind of want to put this on the book card as well. I'm going to put all of this down here on the second tier. The X-Hex. Let's put this down there. <laughs> Good Girl Bad Blood, let's put this back. Where's my Good Girl's Guide to Murder? Found it. This one, you go here. I need to put As Good As Dead here as well, because I finished reading that. But I need to stamp it first, so I'll stamp it and then put it back on the shelf. These two, I will also put on the shelf. I'm putting these books here, but these, these are not permanent spots for the books, because some of these are a part of a series, and I have some of the books on my book card, for instance, I have back here Daughter of the Siren Queen. That one is the second book to the Daughter of the Pirate King, which I have on my book cart. But there's no room here for that now, so I'm gonna leave it like as it is right now. That is why I constantly reorganize my bookshelves. There's like no more room. It's kind of almost filled up. Except for this spot right here. Let's move on to my brown shelf. On the bottom shelf is very empty. Usually I don't really touch the books down here, let's be real. So I'm gonna put the books that I am least likely to read. Mm, let's see. I've already read this one. This is You Again by Kate Goldbeck. I think I have this as four stars or three stars. This really is a fall vibe book. My Aunt Abby Jimenez, wow, her entire, there's like so much dust flying around. Abby Jimenez. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna read this when it's summer again. I'm sorry guys, there's like so much dust flying around. Let's put these down here as well. Another section where I do stacks. Okay, these are mainly summer books, which is why I have them on the bottom. Yeah, these are summer, summer, summer. <laughs> I'm just like removing the stacks in the front. I'm gonna put most of my summer books in a pile over here. Tessa Bailey's worn right here. I don't want to put these down there too. Lucy score books are pretty thick and they take up room. Oh, this one's another Lucy score. Holy cow. There's like no room. <laughs> it's literally a whole stack down there. You can't even see it, but this whole stack is filled for you and no one else. This one I can also put up there. I can also put this one up there. It's Lou. I have these. They're going down here. Seven days in June. Here. Anne Liang. I have an Anne Liang book right here. This time it's real. So let's put that together. Yellow spine. Let me just put this here. You guys, right now at this point, wherever there is room, I'm simply putting it in. JC Lee booked on a feeling. Love at first bite down here. Put these two here. As you know, I have that little tiny cubby that I showed you guys earlier. So I already have like this whole section that's already filled with books. I kind of want to raise it up so that I can have an extra tier over here. This is what it looks like. Since I already read these, I don't really need to see them in my peripheral. I will still put this one back up there. This is The Grip Trilogy by Kennedy Ryan. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Wow, she writes really good books, guys. And then I also have these four 
These are also gonna go back in this spot. This one is a Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. I'm gonna put this one over there. In Ember in the Ashes, I'm also gonna put this over here. Okay, this shelf is not a shelf that I will be showing people. Oh. I needed to make room for my Twisted Lies and Twisted Hate for this section I have going for Anna Huang. I need to make more room. What to do? Oh, the no-show, set on you, books that I've already read. <laughs> I like have zero clue why I should do. You know what, let's put this up there for now. I'm gonna squeeze in the seven year slip right next to Love In Other Words by Christina Lauren because the colors are pretty similar. Oh, the shelf is gonna burst. No, we can't have that. Let's put this one down with the blue books. I know it's not blue, but at least it's light. I'm also going to move my Mia Sheridan books down to the blue shelf. These are mostly pink. So I'm gonna have this in one corner of the shelf that you guys are on. This one right here, I'm gonna put it maybe in this corner. Oh, that looks so nice. I need to put more books back that I have on my desk. Since I already read all these, I need to stamp them before I put them back so I have my stamp collection. I find the color closest to the book cover and then I stamp it. The closest I have to this one is a green, so I'm just gonna use green. Or it could be blue, blue green. Oh, let's use half of this and half of that. And then I go in and I... Yay! So it looks nicely, so I can put these back on the shelves. I also need to stamp this one. As good as dead, this one is dark. I don't have black. I'm going to use a dark brown. I've never used this color before. Go in. This one does not fit. The color doesn't match, but it is what it is. The color does not match at all. But that's what I have. You would think I would have a black ink pad. That's like the most basic one and I don't have it. That's it, guys. This one goes in the brown shelf. This one can go here. I'm gonna show you what the shelves are looking like right now. And then I'm gonna do my final decorations to make it look semi-fall. Don't look forward to that part. Here's the bottom shelf. I'm gonna bring you guys up, so. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Over here, you don't belong. And then down here, wow, so pretty though. And last but not least, up here. You can't really see what is back there. Come back to me. That's not how I want it to look, but that is what it's gonna have to look like for now. Where do I put this? Now it's time to decorate. Do you see how simple my decoration is? I don't know how this is fall related. <laughs> But it's leaves. And the fairy light is what makes it fall. Would I love to have the orange leaves to complete the look? Yes, but I really don't want to buy more decor. Don't quote me on that. That is not all. Do you see my tulips up there? I did not buy flowers, but in order to make it fall, <laughs> had a rose. Oh no. I know it doesn't fit. It doesn't even look right. <gasps> Yeah, it does not look good. When I say I have no eye for decoration, this is what I mean. But adding the roses does give it a fall look. If you don't look at the tulips and only look at the roses. I can remove the tulips, but a vase of only two roses looks sad. How would you guys feel if I just told you this was it for my fall makeover? You know what, I can add a few candles here and there, but I think the shelves are heavy enough for now, right? Final thing we need to do for the bookshelf is to add my new diffuser. This is annoying me. There we go. Then to open this, be careful. I'm gonna remove this because I don't need them together. And like so. Let's put this on the bookshelf. I have no clue what this video is turning into, but I want to make a library card for Vivian because she is a 
not customer, but she does borrow books from me. And I keep forgetting what books she is borrowing. Since she is a member of my library, I thought she should have a personal library card, Kay's library card. So I'm gonna make one. This is for funsies. And I also just downloaded this app. I've never used this one before. This app is called Book Buddy. There's a section that says loaned out. Every time she borrows a book from me, I'm gonna scan that book and I will know what books she has that are mine. When she borrows my books, it's not like she reads it immediately and returns it. She keeps it for a while. And because it's been a while, I don't remember what books they are. And because I don't know what books she borrowed, I'm gonna use this one to keep track. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to make her a library card, but it was always like for jokes. And this is a joke, obviously. So right now I have a piece of cardboard paper and I am outlining the card, but I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna paint over it and decorate it however I want to. How this is going to work. <laughs> I'm taking this so seriously. Okay, I don't know if I have enough books to call it a library, but if I don't, I'm still going to say it's my library because it is my library of books. So I will write something, maybe Kay's private library. And then on the back, I will have stamp icons. Maybe it's a library card and also a stamp card. <laughs> I have paint. This is my arts and crafts section that I was showing you guys earlier. Keep my paint and paintbrushes in that cubby. What colors do I want? <laughs> I also need the white paint. This is not really straight. If she doesn't have a library card, she is not borrowing any books. Let's see, how do I want to design this? I don't know if my stamp works over paint. Since I have dried paint here, I'm gonna try stamping over it to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then this whole thing is pointless. I'm gonna test out blue. No, it doesn't really work. You can see a faint outline. That's pretty much it. Wait, you can see a faint outline. I'll still use it, it's fine. What color should I use? Should I give it white? Traditionally, library cards, well, the ones that I've had growing up are solid colors with usually red, but I'm going to do purple. I'm using this violet color and I'm going to add some white into it to make it lighter. This is how much I squeezed out. And then I'm squeezing out white. can clearly tell I am not a professional painter. Whoa. The main thing about this is to have fun. So I'm gonna paint this purple. Wait, is this? I kind of want it lighter. I think it'll look prettier if it's lighter. Let's see how much lighter this is. I think this is light enough. It's my library card. Well, it's not my library card. It's going to be Vivian's library card, but she's coming to my library, so it's going to be purple. Her favorite color is not purple. Oh no, got on the other side. Her favorite color is pink. I could have painted this pink. Well, that's not the kind of library cards that this library gives out. You can't really tell what I'm doing, huh? Ooh, kind of looks like little marble streaks. And then the other side. It's getting lighter. Why is it getting lighter? I kind of like it. Oh my God, you can tell this is 100% homemade. Doesn't look that pretty, okay. But it's going to have to work. And I got some on my fingers. I'm a painter, guys. You know, I kind of regret this. Now that I painted it purple, I kind of want it to be a sky. I could go back and paint it blue. You know, this is one design. I'm squeezing out some yellow because I want the stars and the moon on here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use this paintbrush. Should I do some white? Yeah, let's do some white. <laughs> Why am I thinking of painting the sky? Because I kind of want clouds in here. I can do clouds. That could be my next theme. Once she clears out the stamp for this one, it could be a sky. Wait, I could do this one as a sky still. We have seen purple skies. I have no idea. It looks like the sun instead of the moon. And then I also want to do a little bit of... Wait, no, I need white. 
So let me clear this off. Do I not have thinner brushes? I do. I'm gonna use this tinier one. You know what would be perfect? A toothpick. A toothpick would be what I need to make the little dots in the sky. And I'm too lazy to go get a toothpick. So we're gonna just do it. Oh, what is that? Why does it look like that? No. No. Uh-uh. Toothpick. We're gonna get toothpick. We can't be lazy about this. I have my toothpick. No, that just messed it up. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this blob. Should I paint over it? I'm gonna paint it over with purple and redo that side. <laughs> okay, pretend that never happened. I kind of want streaks of orange. I think I'm gonna mess this up real bad. I squeezed out some orange. This is orange yellow. And I'm going to go in with white. This is what orange looks like. Mm. I'm gonna streak it in there and then blend it in with the purple, crimson, red. I'm gonna do a little bit of pink. It's a mix of colors. It used to be purple, now it's going to be the sunset. This is crimson red that I'm squeezing out, mixing it with white. That's some pretty color though. I'm gonna go in with it and get more of the orange on the top and then go in with the purple. Oh no. I kind of ruined it. What happens if I mix this part together? No, it's not really looking that good. It doesn't blend well. But you will never see another card like this. That's for sure. Like, I'm gonna wait for this to dry so I can go in with the clouds and the stamp stuff. You would think that this is a library card. I should draw some books on it. No. It's not smooth looking. It, there's a lot of bumps on here. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna go in probably with the second layer. Wow! Pimple patch first. These are the pens that I am going to use. I have these old Micron, but these are running out of ink. So I had to buy more, but then I wanna try out this other brand, this one. I've used it already before. The quality of the pen is pretty good. What I think I'm going to do is that on this side, it's going to be the front. And this side is where I'm going to make the boxes for stamps. So each time she comes here and borrows a book, I'm going to stamp it. But it's going to be each time and not each book. Because for the book, I'm going to use my phone to scan. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. For my stamp, I don't think it's going to work. We already have seen if it works or not. But let's try it once more. Yeah, it's not working. So I guess it's not going to work with this stamp. I do have another stamp that is not this kind. And I will show you. I have these ones. These are butterfly stamps. I'm going to get one out and show you guys. So these ones stick out. Hopefully this one will be easier. Let's test this one out as well on the practice. Okay, it works better than the other one at least you can still see the butterfly now i'm going to draw in the boxes we're gonna do eight boxes this is the outline i'm going to trace it over with a marker now i'm gonna use point three okay so each time she borrows a book i'm gonna stamp a box i'm gonna do something to the front we're gonna write some things on it <laughs> i finished this is what it looks like and this is the back. <laughs> I wrote on the top, guard this card with your life. And on the bottom, I wrote, you will replace any lost or stolen books. I think that's fair. I love the front. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. I kind of want to keep this for myself. Okay, the back I can't take seriously because it doesn't look like a library card. Not that the front does. This reminds me of every time you go to a bubble tea shop and you get a stamp for your drink. This is what it looks like to me. Well, that is where I got my inspiration. Now that I made this for her, every time she wants to borrow a book, she's going to have to present this card to me. And that's it. I think I'm done. Let's unclip it. I think that would be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. My plan at the start of this was making this a fall makeover 
reorganizing and then it turned into spending the day with me reorganizing doing an art project it really turned into something like that but i hope you enjoyed this nonetheless and i hope to see you all in my next video so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye